Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you a few basic things you can do in GIMP 2.10. To start off with, all you need to do is open up a image. As you can see on my screen, I have a beautiful Nissan GTR. Hopefully one day I will own one of these cars, but we will see. Anyway, right, I'm going to be showing you first how to crop your image. To crop an image, all you need to do is go to the left hand side and click on this icon here. Or you can press Shift and C together. And you will now end up with a few settings on the left hand side and we will also have a different cursor. You now need to select the area of the image you want to crop. Basically this means that if I select this area here then that's the only area you will be able to see in the image. It will basically delete all this section out. I actually want to keep most of the car in the image, which means I'm going to just drag this box all the way across and let's maybe go down a little bit like that. There we go. That will be absolutely perfect. Now this area outside the box will be deleted once I hit enter. I'm now going to go ahead and press enter. And there we go. As you can see, it's removed all the other rubbish that was on the image. And the crop tool is very good for doing that. Say you have a photo and you've got, I don't know, a post box next to you in the right hand side a little bit. You could then select the photo of yourself and you could crop yourself and that post box won't be in the image anymore. If that makes a bit of sense. Anyway, the next thing we are going to be taking a look at, now we have taken a look at cropping. We are going to add a new layer, but before we do this, I want to select my rectangle selection tool. I want to highlight my number plate, so I basically want to zoom in first. And actually, let's maybe go with a lasso free select tool. I'm now going to just select the Nissan section of the car, simply like this. You can either click or you can just hold down the left button and drag the lasso. You then need to join up the yellow circle like that. And once you have a line that goes all the way around, if I zoom in, you can see this a bit better. We can now press enter. And there we go. We've now selected the Nissan section. I'm now going to go ahead and press control and C together to copy that selection. I'm now going to go down to the bottom right hand corner of my layers window. If I just drag this up a bit. I'm now going to go down and click on this button here to create a new layer and I'm just going to go OK for the layer name and I'm now going to go Control and V. And there we go. I have now just created a layer for that Nissan. If I just hide that actually, in fact, if I go to my move tool, which is here, as you can see, and if I just simply go like that, you can see I'm moving the Nissan section. There we go. I'm now going to go Control and Z, and that's put the Nissan layer back on top of our Nissan. I'm now going to go to the top and go to Filters, and we now want to go down to Blur. We now want to go down to Pixelize, and straight away, as you can see, it has pixelized the Nissan text, which is great. We can adjust how much pixelation we actually want by adjusting the block width and the block height. If I just drag this down a little bit, there we go. As you can see, that's making the pixelation a bit better. And there we go. That's actually perfect. I like that. Once you are happy with your pixelation, we can now go OK. And we can now zoom out. And there we go. We now have our car with a pixelized number plate. And it really is that easy. If I just hide this layer, you will see that the Nissan text is still there. And there we go. That's why I did a separate layer for it, just in case we ever want to get rid of the pixelation later on in our photo edit. Right, once you are happy with that, it is now time to save our image. 
And to do this, all you need to do is go to the top left hand corner of GIMP and click on File. And you now need to go down to Export As. And if we go down to the bottom right here and click on this little drop down box, we have a massive list of photo file extensions. The common ones are .jpeg, which is here, and also .png. Those two image files are really the only two you will ever need to use. .png basically means if you have a transparent background on your image, it will keep that transparent background. JPEG means that if you was to save that image, then it will not keep the transparent background. It will replace it with a white background. And that is pretty much it. With this image, because I don't have a transparent background, I can go ahead and just save it in a .jpeg file extension. And up the top here, you can see it's already detected .jpeg because that's what the image was when I opened it. I'm now going to give it a file name of test and go ahead and press export. And I'm now going to change the quality to 100. But keep in mind, the higher the quality, then the higher or bigger the image size. Once you are happy with this, we can now go ahead and press export. And there we go. If I now close down GIMP or actually just minimize it and go to my desktop, and there we go, there's my image. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.